getting tired of losing all the time. 16 to 5, we ought to be ashamed of ourselves. We need to practice more. We need a coach. That coach can't help you catch the ball. Practice helps you catch the ball. Practice. To me, that that bad center we never played for this year. Center was just a friendship team. It's not like some of my lost, you know. He threw the ball real good. He just dropped a cup something missing ground ball. Yeah, I definitely got the more to run runs. What's an earn run? Come on, man. You ask me this every time. Don't you follow baseball? Don't you listen to the Tigers? Ah, oh, man, my father listens to the Cleveland Indians. He said the Tigers too prejudiced because they ain't got no color players. What you got in the jar, baby, Ray? I made a cocoon over there in the field. Ooh, we studied about that in this Scott's class. What you gonna do with it? Keep it till it turns into a butterfly. I'm gonna find me one and just look at it until it turns into a butterfly. <laughs> been dumped on him. He said we need to break loose of that. Lie like butterflies. Man, it's something that something so ugly as a cocoon can turn into something so pretty as a butterfly. Yo, daddy think me ugly like cocoons? What is it? Smart or something? Yo, daddy know everything. Haley, Dale, who's where you passed to? The school starts back up in Mrs. Scott, sixth grade class, <coughs> in Fairview Elementary. You got like Mrs. Scott. He ain't mean like some of the mother teachers. <laughs> Your daddy said your daddy said, man, we're tired of hearing what your daddy said. <laughs> 
Daddy say them factories kill people with all that smoke coming out them chimneys. Got to wash your car every day because the soot raining down. He say they pour old oils and chemicals into the river too. Yo, Daddy right. You can see the water clouds into those little blue circles with those drains pouring to the river. Speaking of the river, I was just down there one day yesterday. He made a rock skip across the water ten times. Ten times? Ain't nobody made a rock skip ten times. I swear to God, cross your arm. This ass is when you see him. Ten times. I can throw across the river now. You know, down there at that little brick shanty by Camp Paul Street. The river real near down there. I threw from one side to the other. Looks like Mr. Johnson then made it home from work. <laughs> another day, another dollar. He covered up from to his clothes almost blood. They say he worked hard for the money. Don't never miss a day. <laughs> hey, Stip, you ever wish you were grown? I don't know if I ever want to be grown. You gotta go to work every day. You can't sleep late. Too tired to play. You gotta take care of the kids. Man, God, I just don't see it so fun to me. Man, you get to have money. Stay up as late as you want and do what you want to do. I think I'm gonna be a hustler like Wolf and Argo. Drive pretty cars, have two or three pretty women on my arms, and I stretch in my gabardine, double breasted suit with Stephanie shoes. Ah, fool! You scared girls! You scared to talk to! How you supposed to hustle? <laughs> oh, it's scary thinking about you, though. So, no fact, we all gonna get grown one day. Unless y'all wanna stop living. Remember that girl, Betty? She died from leukemia. Yeah, I remember Betty. Live right door to bouncy. We used to play bouncy ball and make the chases. Yeah, we run and tease her. Bouncy, bouncy ball, we bouncy, bouncy ball. <laughs> hey, they say her nose start bleeding one day. We never stop. I'm scared to die. What happened when you die? My daddy say it ain't that bad. You just go to sleep, and then you never wake up. <laughs> Beeble, beeble, I can't see you, see you, see you. 
Everybody ready? Holler, Billy Go. Billy Go. Okay, Pee Wee, I got you. Dang. Man, where are you from? Don't you know you're not supposed to answer when I say Holler, Billy Go? I know. You better stop. Where do you stand?
Now, if you 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 live to to fight another day, that's what's happening. I expect I'd rather be a live chunk. <laughs> I hope you make it. Man got a wife and three kids. Work stock it at brokers. Brokers he paid him pretty good. The broker can afford to pay him pretty good. He owns everything in the whole block that the whole neighborhood buys from. <coughs> and what he owns? Friday owns the rest. Let's see. Friday owns the barbershop, the Red Dog Coney Island. Yeah. Broker owns the grocery store. I don't know who owns that uh, Columbia Theater. That old man Papa owns the drug store. Who owns the five and die? I don't rather know that either. Could be one of them chain stores that's been buying up everything. Say old Smitty fell up against the five and die. Blood just gushing out his throat. I wonder who's gonna clean up all that blood. <laughs> I bet that's the least of Smitty's words. <laughs> Soon as my number comes in, I'm moving away from here. These St. John Negroes is getting too wild. I'm gonna move on the south side where all those elite Negroes live. <laughs> Heard there ain't too much wildness going on over there. Oh, Cause they come over here and do all they dumb and then they hightail it back to the south side. <laughs> Them be the ones saying, every man and all, this comes Sunday morning. <laughs> hey, Jomo, you want a nip? No, it's too early for me. A little nip ain't never hurt nobody. <laughs> At 8.30 in the morning, by noon, you're going to be sloppy drunk. And part of the problem just talked about skate. And tell them, Lucy. Listen to the man, Rasmo. <laughs> I mean it. I sure don't feel like scuffling with no drunk today. You mess with me today, you're gonna have all kinds of pop your pants inside your head. <laughs> Jesus H. Christ. I get the point. Man can't even have a little nip. But be glad I ain't no on no space out on no drug. Is dope the stuff you're putting in your body or your behavior? <laughs> it don't matter what you're putting in your body. If you act like a dope, you a dope. Amen. I thought I'd kill more Negroes than all the smack in the world. There go Wolf, putting in his numbers. <laughs> now, that's a good hustle. The number man never moves. Last time I almost hit big. If you make it big, what a payday. They bros gonna hit for big money because they ain't got no big money to play. I almost hit it yesterday. <laughs> it came 417. I played 427. <laughs> How much you play for every day? I doubt. And when was the last time you hit for how much? About three months ago. $150. <laughs> And when was the last time before then? About a year sometime. <laughs> See, that's my point. You play a dollar a day. That's at least $200 a year. You hit for 150 The number back is still ahead by $50. You never win. How else is a Negro supposed to hope on be getting rich? You do it the same way they do it. Save and invest. Save and invest. I saw old Pine Shop Shorty hanging around here yesterday. Show sure ain't that pervert hanging around here. That man ain't thinking about you. Yeah, like everybody else trying to eke out a living. Things I heard about him will make your head spin, bro. I can't pay no attention to what you heard. Truth is, Mr. Charlie got a number way for all of us. 
All we got to do is be in the wrong place at the wrong time. They gonna whoop that number out on you. Sure is truth about that. Jail full of Negroes whose only crime is to have them born colored. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Well, Roscoe, I'll see you a little later. Yeah, later, Gator. Yes, sir. Yeah, 
Many of us have been lynched. You think we'd be used to it by now. But it always feels the same. As a man, it makes me feel powerless. It makes me feel gutless that I can't even defend my own children. The Lord arranges that way so that the Negro will just bear the burden. We arrange it. The Lord ain't arranged no such a thing. What you mean to say is man and rearrange the word to justify his own wicked ways. The Lord ain't mean for no 14 year old boy to be brutalized like that. They say the Lord works in mysterious ways. Maybe something good will come out of all this sorrow. denies the firm is dumping toxic waste into the Flint River. This was in response to complaints the firm has polluted the river by dumping chemical waste and lubricants into a vast network of drain pipes that lead from the plants to the Flint River. The spokesman went on to say he hopes this statement puts all the rumors to rest. They lie like a damn dirty rug. You would stand at that river and see all the chemicals coming out of huge black pipes. They tell them a bold faced lie. Makes me no never mind. That's white folk business. If the river's contaminated, that's everybody's business. Our children play at the river, people fish in the river, they eat the fish they catch. Now lay off the foundry now. That's my living. What do you expect we do? Close the factory and starve to death? Or die of contamination? I'm Keep just, your voice. I'm just saying. People get sick and tired of all the lying and scheming. They gonna raise up and it ain't gonna be pretty. Lord, Lord, Lord! What is this world trying to do? Hey!
You learn to throw, you learn to catch, and you learn to hit. You say that, but who's gonna teach our outfitters how to catch a fly ball? Who's gonna teach our batters not to be scared of the ball? Hey, Stick, you think a father wanna coach us? I don't know. Why don't we ask him? He your father. You can ask him. <laughs> Y'all see that big Mandigo move across here from Grand Seafood? Yup, they say he's from Memphis. He's a big one, all right. He's the biggest boy in the room. Bigger than Baby James. Was I speaking Chinese? <laughs> I said he's the biggest boy in the room. Maybe we should ask him to play another team. I bet he can crush the ball. Yeah, I've seen those big guys hit, and they strike out every time. <laughs> hey, Dad, the fellows would like to know if you'll coach our baseball team. By the way, out here, y'all done lost every game you play. <laughs> now you want me to coach you? We get tired of losing, Mr. Wright. We want to learn how to play right. All right, let's see if this will work. First thing you should know, if I'm the coach, what I say goes. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Second, you got to believe in my way of thinking. The way I see the game, we ain't playing against other teams. We plan to defeat our own imperfections. You understand? Yes, sir. Here's what I'm saying. If you practice enough to eliminate all your mental and physical mistakes, you'll win 99% of the time, no matter who you plan against. Third, it's going to take practice. Practice, practice, and uh, more practice. Y'all OK with that? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. First practice in an hour and a half. What? <laughs> Go round up there, the fellas. Meet me at 11:30. Grits and groceries, eggs and poultry, and Mona Lisa.
the girl just got tired of the same old scenery every day. She's probably over some girlfriend house or something. Just be patient.
squaring off with a boyfriend shacking up. The girl is just, she, she's just 12 years old. No, 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 you let me handle this, Lucy. Now, would you say your mama somewhere shacking up? No. No, who you talking to, old lady? No. No. Do you know who I am? They call me Slap God Almighty, and they ain't never lie. Boss, we don't want no trouble. We just want you to help Lucy find her ass.
said they was going to come back and search that thicket over there by the so-called hideout. I got to think. I got to think. Lord, where is my baby? Oh, come on. Come on, Lucinda. It's going to be all right. Oh, it's going to be all right. All I could think about is what they did to that boy in Mississippi. Lord knows I don't want nowhere near what happened to him to happen to our baby. Oh, Lucy, we ain't claiming nothing like that. Come 
wrong with y'all. Y'all just accuse him because he's a little off. Come on now. Use your heads. That man ain't got enough sense to kidnap nobody. Besides, how you know anything happened to her? How you know she missed it? Did she run away? Just because a little girl been gone for a few hours don't mean nothing happened to her. She ain't run away. She ain't had no cause to run away. Well, even if she missed it, don't mean he done it. I miss on purpose. Little girl missing five years ago, and she never been found. Them person that's some little boys and girls everywhere. That's for sure. But pawn shop ain't one of them. They say he went to prison for molesting. Who else could it be? You know that's for a fact. I think it's Phil. But there he is.
get a call from them for any better. Well, when we took off at them, it got so scared it passed out. We picked him up and, and took him behind the pawn shop where he lived, and then we stayed with him until it got better. Aww. Yeah, we had a long talk with him. Found out he's no different from us. Just fell down on hard times and don't know how to get back up. But you boys, you boys are so special, I can just shower you with hugs and kisses. Thank you, Miss Johnson. <laughs> Where are you going? Come on. <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. Glad to be part of your service, ma'am. Man, you crazy. We just not getting good when you trying to mess it up. Let me go back to say it's so hard. Boy, we're off. Last game of the season, ma'am. I'll tell Practice you. Practice in 10 minutes. Let's go. Yeah, Chicken shack, 
Life is hard in the city. St. John Street is just the same. Oh, life's so hard in the city. St. John Street is just the same. Ain't no crying, ain't no fear. Crying just ain't If you're white, you better be right. Growing up on St. John Street, you wake up ready to fight. Life is hard in the city. St. John Street is just the same. Montgomery, Alabama Improvement Association, led by the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. Yesterday called on all Negro citizens of Montgomery to boycott the city's public transportation system. Dr. King said the boycott will commence immediately and continue until the city changes discriminatory practices relative to public transportation. According to the Associated Press, the call for the boycott was triggered by the December 1st arrest of Rosa Parks, a 42-year-old colored seamstress for refusing to give her seat to a bus driver. Following her arrest, Ms. Parks was found guilty of being a disorderly person. Andy Pearl! Andy Pearl! It's cut! Thank you for spending your evening here at the New McCree Theater for the play, The Saints of St. John, written by Charles Winfrey, the executive director. Put your hands together. For McCree Theater's after school performing arts workshops, we have three very talented family members. We have Mariah, Mikaya, and Michael Thomas. Not only that, we have family members performing with us this evening. Stick, Isaiah Grays. His sister, Brianna Graves and their cousin Omari Robinson who happen to be the grandchildren of Patricia Enright who was playing Slap God Almighty. We have other family members. We have Devea Wesley And her grandfather, Darius Smith, who played Jomo.
Ulysses T. B. T. Bailey. On Shop Shorty. And the stage manager for this production. We have Solomon Year B. Who played Roscoe Johnson. And his wife, Lucy, played by Cassandra Harris. Jomo's wife is Marie Blacknall, who played Annie Pearl. And their daughter, Alma, by Yana Mitz. Some of the other characters who lived in that tenement were Miss Claire May Anderson, played by Pat Hill. And Cleo, Alvarine Simpson. We have the three other softball players. James, baseball. Jimmy on. Jimmy on. And Jalen. Jalen. under the lights were the Calvacades. <laughs> Philip Young, Clifford Sykes, David Lott, Fred Fife, who played Wolf. We also have, before we take that deep bow, the police officer, Lenny Brousseau. And Bum Beetle, Anthony Jones. Let's give it up for this phenomenal cast of the Saints of St. John's. 